supported we had lots of questions we drunk wine i had guests they ate we had fun and we're doing it again this wednesday at eight it's going to be every wednesday at eight a live stream with me making food live answering questions is having fun download the app you now it's free it's going to be in the description box for you guys it's that easy log in with one of your social medias media media twitter <laughs> instagram or facebook okay Strawberry shortcake trifle. I called it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh -huh. Because it's a layer and it's in a clear crystal container and it's going to be great. What I did here, I already pre did my pound cake. Guys, it's going to be a link in the description with my um, pound cake because I did the pound cake recipe already. So just go to that link to get that recipe. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the fresh whipped cream and a strawberry compote. Strawberry compote is, I have in here three pints of fresh strawberries um, chopped with one cup of sugar and two teaspoons of lemon juice. Or you could use the whole lemon juice, which is about two teaspoons. And you're going to let this just sit here on a medium to low heat and just simmer to it thickens. And you know, I'm going to use that. Oh my God, it's going to come out so great. So we're going to let this get thick. I'm going to go ahead and go in. I'm making a big trifle. See, show him the put in the container right there. Let me see. I'm using this container right here. Ta -da. I'm using this right here to make it with. And um, I'm going to sit it right there. Stove is not hot, it's not on, so it's great. And then I'm going to cut the cake up in squares, put it on a plate, dice it, cut it in squares. But while we this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and do the whipped cream. Use half heavy whipped cream. I just say half and half. I'm thinking about making a French toast tomorrow. I got to make for the kids. Um, heavy whipped cream. I'm making a very large. This is about two. I only need but one of these. And what I normally do, because what I didn't do, because my fridge, my freezer is so packed. But I normally, when I make homemade whipped cream, I usually put my bowl and my whisk in the freezer for about an hour or even all day, you know, to get it nice and cold. It makes the whipped cream faster that way. But you're just gonna use a pint. Or two um, I'm making a large one so this is one quart that I'm using today um, just a dab I'm gonna do two teaspoons of pure vanilla one two and then to sweeten it I'm not gonna use granulated sugar because to me it leaves it gritty I'm going to use powdered sugar to sweeten it once it all comes together so you're gonna start off low on them really low low whip because you don't want it to be splashing all over the place. And basically the cake is cooler. This is doing what it need to do in the pan. And I'm gonna make the whipped cream, put it in the bowl, and put it in the refrigerator. And so this um, strawberry compote comes together. I'm just gonna stir it. Once it gets those nice strong peaks you got. And if you don't wanna use homemade whipped cream, if you don't wanna make strawberry compote, you don't have to. This is just the way I do it. You can most definitely buy your favorite whipped cream, buy you some fresh strawberries, dice them, make your cake, and layer it up. But I, I don't know. I like cooking. <laughs> and I just like doing stuff this way. I, I, I don't know. But for you, for you guys who want to do it this way, trust and believe this is a great way to do it. That's how this is only three, just three pints of fresh strawberries diced. I rinsed them all, drained it in a strainer, try to give it all that water, and just put in two tablespoons of lemon juice or a whole lemon, or you can squeeze a fresh lemon, I didn't have any, and a whole cup of sugar. And I'm just letting that thicken, let it cook down, let it get thick, and let it cool down. And I'm just gonna put all of this together, show you guys how to put it together. It's still summertime. Hey, Labor Day is coming. 
you may want to make this for a later day barbecue, take it to someone, they're truly going to love it. We're just going to let this whipped cream come together. Look. Like I said, you know who is the sister whip? The hat, um, heavy whip is really cold. It's in the bowl. Mm -hmm. The heavy whip is really cold. I think I bought it like a couple of days ago. And I'm just speeding up a little bit. I'm just waiting, looking at this cake. So this pound cake looks good. <laughs> Hungry because I just I just want that by itself for real food. <laughs> I'm gonna speed up. I don't want it to splash. You know how I saw the splash. So I'm gonna leave it right here at this speed. It's splashing, but it's not splashing that much. Ooh, not even enough. So guys, we're gonna let it um do this do its thing. And when it gets to those peaks that I want, I'm gonna come back and show you guys. This is what your whipped cream should look like when it comes together. Nice and whipped and fluffy. And just to remember, I forgot to say, the link to this recipe for this pound cake, because I did a video for this pound cake, is going to be in my description box. That's why I didn't show you guys the actual make another pound cake, because I have a video up. Um, go to my link in my description box, you guys, and um, click on it, and it'll take you right to the video for this delicious pound cake. So I'm going to add in some powdered sugar stir it. I'm, I'm going to fold it in, not stir it. You're going to fold in your powdered sugar, okay? One second. And how sweet you want your whipped cream? I mean, that's on you because since you're making it by scratch, this is about a half a cup, you guys. This is a lot of whipped cream. I did two teaspoons of vanilla, and I did one quart. And I'm just gonna stir it in. And of course, this is gonna be a refrigerated dessert. It's gonna go in the refrigerator. And I'm just whipping it and folding in my, um, pot of sugar to get it with cream that sweetness have that vanilla two teaspoons of vanilla in there and if you want you can actually sift your um <laughs> your pot of sugar in case it had any lumps in it I didn't see any lumps in mine so I just went in with a half a cup of powdered sugar. I'm telling you, if you use this, it melts easier than the, um, the regular granulated sugar. I need just a little bit more sugar. Again, the sugar is up to you. As you pull in your powdered sugar and whip it in, I say whip it and fold it in, just taste it. Constantly taste it till you get it at the taste you like. Cause I don't want to stir it because you don't want to break it up. Mm -hmm. It's with cream. Ooh. And it's fluffy. Mm. I still ain't got that sweetness, so I go in with a little bit more powder. I still just use a cup of sugar, powdered sugar, just because mm. this is a big thing of with cream. Turn it down. That just to settle down and get thick. Is it done? Mm-mm. It has to get thick. Come on, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So I'm going to put this in my favorite glass bowl. Stick it in the freezer. And this is actually... Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave the top off of the floor. Burning. It's going to get thick. 
the way I want it, like a gel. And we'll be back. Hopefully, be putting it all together. Okay, guys, it's the way I wanted it. Look at it. Look at it, bro. That's what we're doing. It's hot now, but it's all the way I wanted it, you guys. It's what it's going to do now. It's going to sit, and it's going to get thick. Remember, you guys ain't got to go through all this. You can use fresh strawberries, follow my cake recipe, follow the whipped cream recipe, and just layer it. I wanted it like this. And to have that gel, strawberry gel stuff in the refrigerator um, at the store. Strawberry glaze? Glaze, yeah, strawberry glaze. Um, you find in the fruit section with the strawberries and stuff like that. You can get that. Cut up some fresh strawberries, mix it together, and then do your layering. But I, I always gotta do stuff. To, this is kind of easy though. It really is. So, guys, this is gonna sit because it gotta come together. It's gonna get thick. Oh. Yeah. And this, it's, like I said, it takes me, I would say about 30 minutes. I'm gonna let it. So, I want it to cool down. I don't wanna put it in the glass. So, I'm gonna let it cool down, you guys. And when we come back, you can see how much more thicker it got. And you can see the thickness. Okay. And make sure when you do do this, when you rinse your strawberries, make sure you pat them down dry. Because they will hold water and you don't want that in here. Then you'll end up like pouring juices off and pouring juices off until you get it the way you want it. But this is good. I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to cut up this cake and let this sit and cool down. And the whipped cream is in the refrigerator. Okay, guys, we're back. Okay, this is how my strawberries turned out. I like it nice and thick like this. Again, you don't have to do that with the little gel stuff in between. Um, just remember to pat dry your strawberries so the water won't absorb up and get a whole lot of water in the um in your pan. But I cut the cakes in squares. See, this pound cake, I cut in squares. This is my container I'm using, and that's my whipped cream. It's good. You have to make sure when you use this um, strawberry compote that is really, really cooled. I put it in the freezer to let it um, really, really get cold because you don't want it to melt the whipped cream. So, again, this recipe for this cake, you're going to find in the description bar. And it's going to be the link to this recipe. And basically, I'm going in with cake first. I cut it in squares. There's so many people sitting here waiting on this cake. They kept stealing pieces of the cake while I'm waiting on the strawberries <laughs> to get um to get warm. And guys, if you don't have a container like this, it's okay. You can use a big, pretty glass bowl or something to do it with. And you're just going to cut your cake in slices and then cut it in squares. I cut it in slices and out of each slice, I think I got like nine, um, nine squares. I didn't cut them too small. I cut them nice and big because I want everybody to get a nice chunk, you know, of cake. I'm just going to, so you, boy, if you take a piece of this cake, well, I'm doing that. So, guys, I'm going to go in. I'm going in with my cake. And I'm going to get a different spoon. Wait a minute. Look at that. <laughs> Getting look good, don't it? <laughs> Sorry, you said, baby. Oh, that cake tastes good. I'm going to this. I know. I thought I should have it together. But I don't want any, I don't want any, um, well, this whipped cream is so lovely. Oh, Using a spatula. And you can do yours any way you want it. Remember, you guys, um, guys, remember, download you now so that you can see me live. I'm doing fried rice and vegetables. Mm. And um, it might be a special thing. <laughs> and um, honey, um, honey walnut shrimps. And you just want to just spread it and spread it all over. And remember, the holidays is coming. This strawberry showcase for the holidays, and then it's still summertime. You know, if you want it for the summer, let's try and make sure. Look, I think it's gonna be somebody gonna have to um, eat some. Like me. No, I'm talking about eat some on the um. Hey, I do. Again, you don't have to do it this way, you guys. You can just most definitely take your fresh strawberries and um. Ooh, 
Look at yeah. And these containers to... actually come a little bit wider than this. I think this is a little small one that I got. And I'm just going to spread it around. And guess what? I'm going in with more cake. I think I made too much recipe, but in my house, too much is never too much. <laughs> Once I put this together, I think that's only get us two layers out of this. I bet I'm I, um, I make chunks and chunks and chunks of cakes. I just slice them into big, big old, big old, big old chunks. Yeah, so. This man, this is way too much for this container. Go ahead, you can eat one. My nephew trying to eat a slice of cake. He been, they been trying to eat it. So with this little small container I had, this little glass um, pitcher, I only got two layers out of here, which is really, really good. And then what don't get in here, people most definitely, most definitely, they gonna, they gonna get it. Real. on their plates and bowls so yeah but I like this I like how this is turning out again and presentation is most definitely most this cake is so soft and moist it's so I gotta eat this one mmm it's delicious I'm going in with some more whipped cream yep. I'm gonna definitely got two layers Mm. This is delicious. You know how things look so cute. You don't want to um. You don't want to um. So this is my strawberry truffle. You know, I make this this way all the time. I do strawberry cake. Most definitely, if I ever get my restaurant. This is going to be a recipe that will most definitely be in there. It's good. It's cool. Homemade whipped cream, you guys. You don't have to do all that. You get your favorite can or your favorite whipped cream in a store that you like. But the link to the cake video it's going to be in my description of bar along with the link to you now. You guys come out Wednesday at 8 p.m. live. And check out that app. It's a free downloadable app. And guess what? We're going in with some more strawberries. Oh, my goodness. And it uses this rip. God, you found it to do it. Oh, thank you, honey. He's on found cake as well. So, you guys, this is as simple as that. You go layer it, layer it, layer it. Hey, put in layers the way you want. <laughs> I was trying to say it. My speech is just all messed up. So, Look all the leftovers we got. Leftover cake. Look, you guys. Leftover strawberries. Leftover whipped cream. They're going to get cups. They're going to build their own. But until they build their own. Oh. Guys, look at this. Strawberry truffle. Like, share, subscribe. And remember to go in the description box. The link to this pound cake recipe is going to be there. And then the link to you now is going to be there to see you guys on Wednesday at 8 p.m. And to then, we're out. Okay. Six eggs that I crunched together with my hands. And I had some um, pepper, some garlic powder, some Dijon mustard, um, onion powder. And, you know, that's it. Almost something I use.